PDK can tie into almost any third-party alarm panel using a dry contact and a combination of PDK and alarm panel outputs and inputs. This can enable you to activate and deactivate alarm panels while maintaining the user-friendliness of a PDK access control system. To get started, you will need to bridge your PDK panel to an alarm panel. Any PDK panel will suffice, but make sure that you have sufficient relays available on your PDK controller to trigger both the arm and disarm option on the alarm panel. Start by taking a wire from PDK's common on the relay and tying it into the common or ground of the alarm panel. Take a second wire and tie it into the normally open of PDK's relay, running the other end into the disarm of the alarm panel. Likewise, if there is an arm option on the alarm panel, take another two pair of wire and do the same. Common of PDK panel to common of the alarm panel, normally open a PDK panel to arm of alarm panel. Some alarm panels only have a single input labeled arm slash disarm, in which case you will only need a single PDK relay to arm and disarm the alarm system. Keep in mind that each relay activation of this kind of input will toggle between armed and disarmed, so your programming will need to reflect more selective criteria. There is some light programming required through the Prodata key app or PDK.io, for this scenario, we will be using the ProData key app to showcase how to set up your alarm. Don't worry, these steps are the same. Step one, create a new device in the configuration tab. This device will either be a generic IO or premium IO device. The key difference here is that a generic IO device will take an input from an already installed reader on the system to trigger the alarm panel. A premium IO device will be independently controllable in the case that you want to be able to arm and disarm the alarm system from the software interface in addition to a reader. Step two, once you've created a device or two devices in the case of the alarm panel having two separate inputs, navigate to a group of people that will be allowed to arm and disarm the alarm panel. Step three, hit plus next to rules and toggle over to event. These are called group events. Step four, on this page, your trigger will be your if statement while the action will be your then statement. We want our statement to be, if access is allowed, then open and close the alarm panel relay. Therefore, we populate trigger with access allowed and action with open slash close. Step five, populate the relay duration. Indicate the input assigned to the doors reader and the output assigned to the generic or premium alarm panel relay that we programmed earlier. Hit save. Step six, if we have a second relay tied into the alarm panel's arm input, we will need to create a secondary group event doing the same thing. Optionally, you can change the input type from access allowed to access allowed on multi-swipe so that people do not inadvertently activate or deactivate the alarm panel with a standard card swipe. That's all you need to get started with a simple PDK and alarm panel integration, taking your access control capabilities to the next level with alarm functionality too. For assistance or to learn more, contact your sales rep or email sales at prodatakey.com.